How the uh, COVID pandemic is impacting all kinds of people is something we talk about daily. But there's also an issue when it comes to the widening gap between people of color and people who are Caucasian. So to help us understand what can be done to, to close that gap, we invite into the stream Abjit Walia. He's Deutsche Bank's Global Head of Technology Investment Strategy. And it's important to bring you in because you folks at Deutsche Bank actually took a look at the way Silicon Valley and tech companies could do something right now. You actually set a simple five-year program to reduce the gaps in three areas targeting the underprivileged households among the people who are black and Hispanic would cost about $15 billion. So what is that five-year program that tech companies could do? Uh, good to be here. Um, so we, when you we went into this, this whole uh, study, we looked at the divide, the digital divide, and try to look at what's urban, rural, um, uh, high income, low income, educated, non-educated. And what we found that the, st the staggering gap was based on uh, racial background. Uh, families of color, uh, black and Hispanic, compared to, to, to white families, the, the, the level of digitization, the level of broadband access, the level of uh, computing, um, uh, we found almost a 10 year gap. And it's been, it's been th there for, for quite some time and it persists. Uh, COVID, of course, has, it's been well highlighted, has, has put a litmus test to this gap. You've begun to see uh, our, our research showed, we looked at the three big cities, New York, LA, and Chicago, and how all of them we saw during peak lockdowns, black neighborhoods, the mobility was 135% higher. So clearly work from home jobs not being available or, or uh, the access to digital connectivity not being available created that divide, which you know essentially the inequity with, with health issues. Um, so what we see is this is not a problem which is not well defined. It's been there for some time, well talked about, and it can be fixed. If you go to a certain threshold of income under 30,000, there's, you know, there's about 10 million households and you go to the uh, black and Hispanic families. If you were to go tomorrow and provide connectivity, um, you know, $20 a month, you're looking at $5 billion over, over, over a period of five years. You know, for a billion dollars, you can start provide, providing connectivity in one year. You provide gadgets. You know, we spoke to a lot of professors, academics, HBCU professors saying that times families have four children and one laptop. So who does the homework in this time? So if you look at the anecdotal studies, it shows that, that it's, it's a lot of difficulty. So you provide a, a laptop uh, and that's about a billion dollars. So for, for, for $6 billion, you can start to provide connectivity and, and hardware right away. Uh, but and, that, and that's what we say, Silicon Valley, big tech has benefited from this pull forward of this, of this e-commerce demand curve. And can they look at the divide, the digital divide, and, and come to the rescue of the people in the, in the country who are suffering fr from the other side of this? Abjit, Dan Roberts here. Uh, as you say, this is not a, a new problem. And of course, for years on our live shows, we've been doing segments about the overall uh, problem with lack of diversity in C-suites and corporate America. I just wonder if this time might ironically lead to actual change there, because so many companies for so long have uh, they've said a lot about you know trying to increase their diversity hiring, but uh, there's words and then there's actions. And since the pandemic has clearly, by any metric, uh, hit minority groups harder, you wonder if actually once we're through this, maybe this will be the wake-up call that that finally changes things. Do you think there's a chance of that? You know, this is a 400-year-old problem. It's not going to get solved in four months, four years, and 40 years. This will take time. And every time there is an issue, you've got people of color suffer more. So you've got to look at it. Of course, hiring helps, um, and, and a lot of tokenistic uh, conversation helps, but we believe a bottom-up approach to go after the ecosystem and address the digital divide early on in life, in middle school, high school, once you start addressing it there, if you're 10 years behind in digitization in a world where a year is a lifetime, it, it just, just keeps, you, keeps you stuck, and having hiring would help, but we believe approach it at, at the children's level from middle school and high school and, and try to educate. Most professors we spoke to said, Inequity in digital skills early on in life has the biggest impact in today's day and age. And that's what we believe should be addressed. Abjit, I, I was trying to make sense of, of the solution that you've provided for what needs to be done to reduce that digital divide. And it strikes me that it's it's very similar to what a lot of these tech companies have been doing in emerging markets in developing countries like in India. And I'm wondering if there are lessons to be learned from that front. When you look at a company like Google that's been really aggressive in some of these markets in trying to get people connected, is there a template there that can be uh, you know, being maybe applied here in the U.S. in some of the most underserved communities? That's a great question. 
you know, we've gone to emerging markets and try to get connectivity because that's a big market. We believe there's growth there. And in our own country here, we've got potentially another country, which is not, which is, you know, living in a broadband desert and not connected. So yes, I, the, the solutions are well-defined. They are simple. They're not, they're not complicated. There needs to be a, an intent. And I believe a, collect, a collective effort from big tech, five of them to come together and, 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 and basically roll the sleeves up and say, let's, let's, let's fix this. So yes, the, the, the solution in India and some of the other countries where they've done, you bring it back. Uh, the, the, the numbers are pretty clear. You don't have to go far to find where the digital divide is. Abhijit Walia is the Global Head of Technology Investment Strategy at Deutsche Bank. We appreciate your being here.